We really want to increase our engagement with all the ASEAN countries, which we see as a huge strategic priority. And I think with the Brunei, whether it's energy, financial services, whether it's agriculture, uh, there's huge potential for investment both ways in each of our countries. So uh, we're here to, uh, to try to take a relationship to the next level. We have a High Commissioner from Brunei in Ottawa, and we have a High Commissioner from Canada here. Uh, I think uh, there's very few countries who have both. Uh, I think uh, we should have the co shared Commonwealth uh, heritage. Um, we uh, recently were accepted uh, to be members of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and Brunei was a very early supporter uh, of that, which we're, uh, which we're, which we're grateful. Uh, what we're really committed to do is try to see what we can do to increase our people-to-people -people ties, whether that be through education uh, or trade and commerce. Uh, uh, we're impressed with uh, His Majesty's vision, uh, 2035. Um, in Canada, we're sometimes criticized for always seeing things at a five-year horizon because that's when the next election is. So uh, we think that, uh, that there's, great, there's great synergies, particularly in the area of energy, uh, education, uh, and in technology. In, there's no doubt that in the renewables, there's, uh, there's an opportunity uh, for greater engagement. Uh, but even in core energy, whether it be oil and natural gas, um, both countries, it's a leading part of their economies. And uh, there's great opportunities uh, for Canadian investment here in the energy sector and uh, for investment from here into, into Canada's energy sector. So we had discussions with that with a lot of our, uh, with a lot of our counterparts. One of the things uh, our government's really committed to do is to try to get more Canadian enterprises to think beyond their conventional markets in the United States and to look uh, to Asia. And while uh, China uh, gets a lot of attention and a lot of focus due to the size of its economy, there are many great opportunities in the ASEAN countries, and that's why it's uh, a big focus of my visit uh, uh, here. I'll be doing bilateral visits uh, to, uh, to, in addition to Brunei, to the Philippines, to show uh, Canadian firms that there's a lot of opportunities here. We recently appointed an ASEAN Business Council, and uh, we're hoping uh, that, uh, that it will assist in that regard as well, in addition to the, uh, having a high commission here and two trade uh, commissioners. I think there's only uh, a small, less than a dozen uh, Brunei students studying in Canada. We think there's an opportunity for far more. And it's a win-win because not only does it benefit the educational institution, it also benefits the student, uh, but also they, people form people-to-people -people ties. So whether they go on to being in scientific research or technology, uh, diplomacy in government or they, in energy, they bring the contacts uh, uh, that they made while studying in education, which are obviously some of the most formative years of your life. So uh, we're very big on, uh, on, uh, on education. The numbers are small and could be a lot better. We've been able to have fantastic meetings uh, with both my counterparts uh, at Foreign Affairs. Uh, we had a, a return mm -hmm. a meeting with uh, the Crown Prince, and then we're very pleased to have a, an audience with uh, His Majesty. Uh, we talked to the Energy Minister, we talked to business people, we talked to uh, uh, other representatives of the government, so it's been uh, an incredible opportunity, and I come uh, away even more enthusiastic about our bilateral relationship.